Hello, here is some good news. Recently, Microsoft added the ability of saving your own pivot table defaults. It has been a long awaited feature and earlier we had to go by the pivot table defaults and then manually customize the pivot table. This feature is available only in the Office 365 version of Office Desktop. Enabling or using this feature is quite simple. You go to File, Options, Data and you will see a button called Edit Default Layout. While you are there, also look at the other options under Data. These are designed to reduce the overheads while handling large amount of data with pivot tables and data models. But let's focus on the default layout for now. How do you create a custom set of default settings? There are two ways. If you have already put effort in customizing a pivot table, you can pick up all the settings from that pivot directly or you can set the options manually. This is the dialog which allows you to edit the defaults. The upper part allows you to get the settings from an existing pivot table and lower part allows you full control over every layout option. Also note that there is a pivot table options button there which basically gives you control over every setting in the pivot table options dialog. It's important to remember to save the file after you have changed the defaults. Now onwards, new pivots which you create across all files will use the new default settings. Once the pivot table is created, you can customize it as usual. The existing pivot tables will not be affected in any way due to this feature. Here is a pivot table which I have already created which is in tabular mode and without subtotals. I want to pick this up as the default layout for future pivot tables. All that I have to do is click inside any cell in the pivot table and click on the import button. Click OK, save the file, you're done. Now you can open any file with some other data and create a pivot table as usual. Insert pivot table and that's it. So now the new pivot table created is exactly the way you had saved as a default. It's in tabular mode and no subtotals. Now you may be a little disappointed, but remember this is saving default layout options, not formatting options. That's why things like row headers, banded rows, colors, fonts do not get included or saved at all. We are only talking about the layout group in the ribbon, which you can see, and all the pivot table options. This is a very good feature and it is going to save you some manual work. But now you will start thinking further and you will want more. As you know, you can have only one default at a time. But if you think about your day-to-day -day work, there may be five or seven or n number of different types of pivot layouts which you use very frequently. You can only make one of them as the default. What about the others? So maybe you want something like a save pivot layout as a template kind of feature. Of course, that feature is not available out of the box, but we can create one for ourselves with some common sense. So the idea is to create a simple template file. It's not an Excel template. I'm just calling it as a pivot table layout template file. What will that file contain? Some sample data and multiple pivot tables, each pivot table differently configured as per your requirements. And we use one of these as the layout to import and then use that default layout to create pivot tables. It's best to understand this concept visually. So here is a template file I have created. This is still an XLSX file. It is not being saved as an Excel template at all. It's just a simple Excel file with some sample data. What data doesn't really matter. Now I have created multiple variations of pivot tables here, depending on my common needs. I could either create these manually or I can import the layouts and create each pivot table from my existing pivot files. Now you know which type of pivot table you want to generate with your real data. So before going to that real data file, go to the desired layout in the template file, click anywhere inside and choose import, click OK and save. Now you go to the actual data file and create a pivot which will follow this default. 
and now we have a method of changing the default on demand. So we can technically or at least conceptually have something like multiple pivot table templates. So practically how are you going to use it in real life? First of all, you'll have to detect the common patterns where you have similar layout being reused multiple times in multiple files or multiple kinds of data. Then create a template file with all the variations and use the template on demand. If you think your team will benefit, make sure you share this file with them as well. And next time you are customizing a pivot table manually, remember to save it as a template if you think you are going to use it quite often. One last thing, pivot tables are created in two different ways. One is with data in Excel sheets, which is the traditional method. And one is data in a data model, which could have multiple pieces of data with relationships. The pivot table defaults, which we have just talked about, apply to the traditional pivot tables, as well as the pivot tables created from data models. So whenever you get this feature on your desktop, try it out and post your experience as well as your queries. Thank you.